Hello, welcome to Liz Rocks and Stuff. I'm Liz. It's time for episode 66 of What's in My Tumblr. We're going to start out with Ruby Rose Take Two. So this is a batch that I had completely finished. It was very bruised, didn't shine up. Uh, so I sent it back to stage one and I'm trying it again to see if I can get rid of the bruising and get some of these rocks to shine up. So currently things are looking better. I'm still not going to hold out too much hope. But uh, I'm hoping, I don't think the ruby in here is going to shine up, but I think the rest of it's going to be okay. Um, so anyway, we it's in stage three currently, going to be going into stage four. So we are going to just get it rinsed off, put it in a bath. I use ivory soap for my between stage ba baths. Um, and then uh, once it, I get that all going, we're going to put it on the tumbler for a few hours. Uh, because I, when I use ivory soap, I like to just go for a few hours. I don't think it needs to be any longer than that. And then uh, we're going to get it off the tumbler. And I did dry some of these off and check them in between. Oh, by the way, uh, I this part of the video I had recorded after we'd had like a sun shower. And it was really hot and humid outside. So you're going to notice that my lens slowly fogs up for the rest of uh, Ruby Rose. It gets better for all of the rest of them but for this one I didn't realize how much it was fogging up until I had finished recording so it's just gonna get worse from here but anyway I'm doing an inspection here making sure nothing is chipped or broken that's just to make sure that I'm not gonna get any scratches in the final polish and then we're gonna do one tablespoon of borax three tablespoons of stage four polish uh, and I personally use aluminum oxide and then that's going to go on the tumbler for uh, a week by the way, I use aluminum oxide. That's a general, just all-purpose polish. It works on most rocks. There are other types of polish, but I've never used anything else. Um, maybe one day I'll give them a try. All right, so now we're moving on to Pebbles Flintstone. This is the river rock that I am polishing up to use for uh, photography props. And it is also in stage three. I only care about the three large rocks in here. I do not care about... The rest of them, they can be shiny or not, does not matter to me. Um, so we're going to get these all rinsed off and uh, put back in the barrel because they will also be getting a bath um, with ivory soap. And um, these are, are, I don't know, I haven't looked, <laughs> I haven't dried these off to look at them. I'm assuming they're looking good. And if they don't get shiny, it's fine. Um, I'll just try again. Uh, it's... The, these, this is just sort of an experiment. I might even start doing these in my one pound. I did this in the three pound because I have that one really long rock that doesn't fit in my one pound tumbler. But um, if, if it doesn't work in this, then I'll just do the rest of them in my uh, one pound because they'll all fit there. Anyway, uh, so I tumbled with a tablespoon of ivory soap for a while. You can see that the water is not seeping down because it had rained so much that the, everything was just waterlogged. But not fogging up the lens. I did manage to get it cleaned off and I guess at that point it had uh, acclimated to the hot steamy temperatures outside and did not fog up again. Which is good, but you know, it happened for Ruby Rose. Anyway, so uh, putting water in this barrel and then again a tablespoon of borax three tablespoons of stage four polish and then these are also going to go on the tumbler for uh, another week so these will be done next week i'll be starting two new barrels next week maybe one of them will be another set of uh river rock i don't know i haven't decided what i'm doing yet we'll just have to see all right uh dopal this is dendritic opal i've never tumbled this before um, this is in stage one, so we are going to pour that out, and I was quite surprised that it did not use up the grit. There was a lot of sludge and stuff on the bottom, and by the way, if you hear my cat, he has decided to come and join us. You gonna purr? Yeah, he's a chatty one. Um, this is Momo. We've had him for about a month, and he's a five-month-old kitten. Anyway. If you didn't see my rock shed, uh, he's our orange and white kitten we just got. Anyway, so I am checking these to see if they're ready to move on to stage two. Um, I was surprised at how many were ready. And then uh, the ones that weren't ready were just really not ready. Uh, there were a lot of very deep crevices um, that I'm pretty sure I'll probably be able to get out. I don't know how long this is going to take. It shouldn't be too long because this is a, a little on the softer side. It's a five and a half to a six on the hardness scale. 
Um, so we'll see. Um, I also do store my stage two rocks in water. Not everybody does. Um, I do it because I don't tumble my rocks until they're completely 100% smooth. So my rocks will have pits and crevices and cracks in them that can hold on to grit. Um, and if that grit dries, then it's going to be harder to get out. So um, putting the I put the last of my raw opal in uh, two tablespoons of stage one this time since it didn't use three last time and a tablespoon of borax. I did forget the scoop for my borax. So I just sort of dumped some in there. And now we have the Meg. This is Ocean Jasper, Picture Jasper, and Sci-Fi Jasper all together. And um, I'm actually really happy with how these are going. These are also in stage one. It did take a while for the last round of uh, Jasper I did to be ready to move on. So we'll see how long this takes. I am really loving the Sci-Fi Jasper. I think I'm going to have to get some more of it. Um, but again, uh, so that's the ocean Jasper. That's a piece of sci-fi. Uh, and that's the picture Jasper. So the brownish ones are picture Jasper. The gray ones are, uh, sci-fi. And then the bluish ones are, um, the ocean Jasper. But I love the colors on the sci-fi Jasper. I've never tumbled that before. Um, but again, these, uh, are, are coming along pretty decently. The last batch of Jasper just seemed to need forever. Um, but these are doing really well. So we are going to just uh, add some more to this. And then I forgot I needed to store the stage two ready one. So again, I put it in water. That just keeps the grit, any grit that's in crevices from drying out. Um, it makes it a lot easier. If I cleaned them in between stages, it would probably be better, but I don't. So I did put one big piece of ocean Jasper. That's a couple pieces of picture Jasper. And then now some sci-fi Jasper. Um, I have one more piece of Ocean Jasper and a couple of Sci-Fi Jasper, so we may actually get through all of it with this batch. We'll have to see, um, but we're going to do three tablespoons of stage one grit, uh, a roughly tablespoon of borax, and then this is going to go into stage one again for another week. And then I realized that uh, I spelled stage wrong last week, so uh, it's not stag one anymore, it's stage one, even though there is a stag uh, in this picture, in this video. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you all back next week.